Aloha, everyone. Welcome. My name is Laurie, and I am a licensed psychologist on, in Maui, as well as a certified master teacher with the Dao Academy. I am also a Love, Peace, Harmony field facilitator um, presenting this program for you today. This is our self-care and service practice in the Love, Peace, Harmony field. So thank you, Asha, for joining. And um, so we'll get started with today's agenda. So we're gonna be checking in again on how we're doing today, uh, review our monitoring gauges, and um, a few qualities of well-being um, based on some of the research, uh, neuroscience research with the Center of Self Healthy Minds with Richard Davidson. Uh, and um, then we'll go into our Love, Peace, Harmony meditation. And today's, uh, practice will focus on developing positive attention and focus. And then we'll review some next steps. So for those of you who have, um, you know, I've talked about the, well, I'll do it. I've talked about the, some of the stress or burnout monitoring gauges. And so when our thoughts, emotions, um, we may have bodily symptoms, or we notice our actions are going in the negative behavior, that is a good time for us to, without judgment, just be aware that, hey, I need to take some time for self-care and to rebalance, realign, to get yourself happier and healthier. And so these would be our thoughts, our emotions. Um, it could be, you know, feeling some body sensations such as headaches, pain, uh, rashes, or if you do already have like a physical condition, you may find that it gets exacerbated. Okay, so I want you to maybe close your eyes right now and do a quick check in as to how you're doing today. Maybe there's an area that you are wanting to transform or you want to get back in balance. Maybe for some of us, our thoughts are maybe racing or we're feeling stressed. Uh, we find that it might be going in a negative direction. Or perhaps sometimes it might be our emotions. We might just feel like irritable or sad or frustrated or even that sense of numbing. Oh, I don't feel anything at all that could signal that you have like an overload of things and then you just shut down. Uh, so we wanna also be careful of that. And um, actions and behaviors, you know, if you're noticing, oh, I might be overeating or uh, using certain things that you may not do, whether it's alcohol or more caffeine or sugary drinks, or maybe binge watching on, on certain things. So just take a chance to note where you are. And there's no judgment, no attachment. You just want to be aware of it. And if you find yourself pretty balanced, wonderful. This practice we can do can be a preventive practice that can help you maintain feeling um, greater love, peace, and harmony in your life. So welcome, Ash, uh, Gregory, as well. Thank you for joining. So we've reviewed in the past sessions some of the qualities of well-being. And these are based on some of the four pillars of well-being that um, I just did a wellness, a Dao Wellness Hour on Thursday. So you're welcome to go back and watch that YouTube video that we have out um, on our Satori Family Wellness um, channel of the four pillars, but these are connected to these. And um, I'll review them. Um, and so the first was resilience, which means the ability to recover rapidly and more easily from emotional knocks and setbacks. And it's really about developing the unshakable heart. So we do have one uh, session devoted to that. So if that's um, of interest, you can go back and watch that video. The other is having a positive outlook. So having a positive and optimistic set point or attitude towards life. 
which means the ability to savor and appreciate the good things that happen and the good in other people. So it, this, these are skills that you can develop. Okay, wonderful. Oh, wonderful. And welcome, Tamara. Thank you for joining us. Yes, um, this is wonderful to bring in the frequencies of love, peace, and harmony. Okay, and something to keep in mind when we're in meetings and things like that. Um, positive outlooks, sometimes we focus on all the negativity. And so we want to trade that over. Uh, because as we notice, when we are going negative, even if we might not be negative people, it just might be a sign that we're just overwhelmed, we're stressed, and we need to get back in balance, okay? So you don't have to judge yourself, okay? Self-awareness was the other one that we talked about last week about, you know, uh, bringing, being able to pay attention to ourselves where we are. And we've done that in the start of the, uh, the session today of, Checking in, how are my thoughts, my emotions, right? My body um, symptoms, Do I, am I feeling tense or, um, you know, heavy? And so awareness is a key to um, pro progress and to succeed in your goals. Uh, because if we, without awareness, you might not know nothing, anything is wrong and you might just continue um, these negative ways of being. So awareness is key. And today we're going to go into attention. And they talk about a wandering mind is an unhappy mind. So a uh, focused, attentive mind can be a happy mind. Okay. So when the, they say when the mind wanders, the brain's um, default mode network. So in some neuroscience um, communities, they might mention that. That it becomes active and we start going over memories, right, of maybe past interactions, or are we going to the future, expectations about future events and so forth? And a lot of times in psychology, we mention like depression is when we are like too much in the past. We regret, we're upset, you know, we're rehashing the past. And anxiety is about the future, but we're worrying about, okay, what if this happens? What about this, right? So what we're wanting to do and the quality of well-being that many of us in psychology, as well as in many spiritual practice, is, is to get ourselves into the present, okay? And this can lead us um, to stop evaluating or judging things, particularly our overly critical self-evaluation, which can be negative. But if we um, practice some of the things that we've done with the more mindfulness, that we can still be aware and correct ourselves without judging, okay? And when we're present moment focused, we can just be in that present moment. We can release the judgment. And when we are in love, peace, harmony, as we're going to do our practice soon, and focus on the messages of love, peace, harmony, we can connect with this message and receive the positive benefits at this moment in time, no matter what you're doing, no matter how your day was going, at this moment, we're going to be in this love, peace, harmony field, and we're going to focus on the love, peace, harmony message, and we're going to practice bringing our attention to the field, okay? So this is that practice um, to train our brains to help keep us present focus and to help keep our message on a positive uh, field, a positive state of mind. So let's get started. So this is the beautiful and powerful Love, Peace, Harmony field created by our teacher, who is Dr. and Master Ji Gong Sha, the creator of um, these, of the Love, Peace, Harmony Foundation, as well as these Tao calligraphies that he has released to uh, a certain group of facilitators to help promote and spread love, peace, and harmony. And so others can receive the benefits to be happier and healthier. So let's get started by um, some of you who were here earlier, had a chance to check in to see where you are. If you just joined us and welcome those who join us, have, um, take a moment just to close your eyes and to check in. 
to see how you're feeling today, your thoughts, your emotions, how your body is feeling. You know, um, if you had, you know, you've noticed certain actions and so forth that you want to transform. But because today we really are focusing in the present moment and bringing our attention to the field, we'll have our, you can make a request like, please um, help me, support me in dot, dot, dot. Some of you may have been working on certain areas of wellness that we've talked about, um, the dimensions of wellness before. And so if you haven't watched those, those are all on our playlist. I will be on Facebook or uh, on our YouTube channel. And just make that request silently and then just release it. So, you know, please do that love, peace and harmony field. Please support and, you know, my dot, dot, dot. Okay. And then let it go. And we're going to just be in this moment of love, peace and harmony. Okay. And what I want you to do is just close your eyes and breathe in this light of love, peace, and harmony. And we're going to use our power techniques. One of the powers is to just connect. And this is what we call so power. So we did a part of it, dear the love, peace, harmony field. You can offer your love and honoring, like I love you and honor you. Please support or bless or transform my request, okay? So that's part of it. And we're just connecting, acknowledging the field and its potential with positive, pure, high frequency and vibration messages because of the training and of our teacher and who our teacher, um, all his credentials allows him to connect with um, these positive frequencies and bring them into these calligraphies. Um, so even if you're not familiar with Tao calligraphy, if you just believe in these messages of love, peace, and harmony, beautiful. Connect with these uh, messages because they carry high frequencies and vibration. The calligraphies, um, we believe, carry an extra layer of frequency and, and vibration that makes this meditation more powerful. So imagine this, this field is 360 degrees around you. And we're gonna use our mind power, which is creative visualization. Imagine that this love, peace and harmony field and message is above you, below you. And you wanna imagine that it carries this pure, positive love and light just radiating into you. You're breathing in the message. It's coming in through the pores of your skin. And you wanna just focus your attention. We're working on developing our positive attention on this field with these positive messages. And we're gonna imagine that love, peace, and harmony is coming into you, into your body, into your being especially into the area that you've noticed you need more support. So for instance, I'm kind of feeling some tension in my chest and my back or shoulders. And I'm gonna just imagine breathing in this love and light and imagining the colors of love, peace and harmony. For some of you, it might be this beautiful pure white light or golden light a rainbow light, a lot of times the love, peace, and harmony is uh, connected to this rainbow color, or it might be a purple color, a crystal light. Whatever one that resonates with you, imagine that you're bringing this in, into your body. So feel the light, feel it coming into the area that needs its support, bringing your attention there into your body your attention into the light and exhale, let that light expand throughout your body, expanding that message of love, peace, and harmony. So no matter what you are going through throughout the day or the week, 
At this moment, you are connected with the message of love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Okay, if your thoughts are wander wandering and you're thinking about something else, don't worry, don't need to get upset, no need to judge that, just gently bring it back, bring your attention back to the field of love, peace, and harmony. Imagine the colors of love, peace, and harmony, the light. And we're gonna also imagine how love, peace, and harmony feels. So with what we call our heart power, we're gonna imagine love, unconditional love, the purest, most positive love. Imagine that there is this love that you're so loved by the field. It's even unimaginable or un incomprehensible. It's so great, so vast. The whole universe is just loving you unconditionally. Just by being who you are, just because you're a part of the universe, every being, every soul is so unconditionally loved. If we open our hearts to feel this unconditional love, just by being you. You don't have to do anything to prove yourself. You're just unconditionally loved. And if it's hard for you to get to that space, don't worry about it. Do what you can. Just feel and imagine the most love you can. Because what we're doing again is training our brains to think about this positive message and keep this positive attention to unconditional love and bringing in the message of love so we can embody this unconditional love. So feel this love, unconditional love coming in. And you might notice certain colors, a certain feel of the quality of your heart power. And now imagine and feel the message of peace this greatest peace coming in, pure and positive message of just peace. How does that feel for you? It's just like people who are actors, they can shift their emotions from one state to another. Imagine that this is your moment to be and embody love, peace, and harmony. You're being asked, okay, you are love, peace, and harmony. How would you interpret that? How would you really use this practice to take in this peace? That your, your role right now is to radiate peace. So get into that space. But the actor analogy is maybe a fun way that you can imagine. Okay, I'm an actor and I am someone who embodies love, peace, and harmony. What is harmony to you? Be harmonizing your systems, your body of your body, your organs, your cells. All parts of your being is being harmonized to be happy and healthy. Harmonizing your emotions, your thoughts. So you're aligning, balancing. So again, love, peace, and harmony, bringing your attention to being love, peace, and harmony. Okay. And we're going to put on, um, I have the music actually in the background, but I'll. Change it so you can listen to the music. And with the sound power, you can imagine this beautiful melody that also carries positive frequencies, vibration and light. This is an instrumental to the song of love, peace and harmony. So now feel your senses is connected 
to love, peace, and harmony. You're seeing the message in front of you with the calligraphies, or if you close your eyes, you can imagine the light of the calligraphies. For me, they are not just uh, written with black ink. In my creative visualization, I, they're like golden light, iridescent sparkly, and radiating this pure positive light. For me, I can imagine like this pure crystal light coming into me, 360 degrees. You're feeling this light and message of love, peace, and harmony. Our attention is on this positive place right now at this moment. Nothing else matters, but you are here in the love, peace, harmony field. You are melding, connecting, embodying love, peace, and harmony. So we're shifting our attention of, of our mind and our brain so release whatever you're thinking about in the past, what you're worrying about in the future. Come back to this moment right now in the love, peace, and harmony field. And just focus on love, peace, and harmony. 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 Some of you may know the words of love, peace, and harmony. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. And you can sing along with that message or just stay focused on embodying love, peace, and harmony. If your mind wanders, no worries. Just gently guide it back to this present moment. It's an opportunity to train our brain, train our neural pathways, to stay focused on love, peace, and harmony. Bringing love, peace, and harmony to the part of your body or the emotion or the thought that you need to transform. So with a few moments, just stay in this space. I'm going to give, give you a few moments just to listen and relax. And again, if your mind wanders, just bring it back to the field. Bring it back to your being. Continue to stay focused on love, peace, and harmony. So continue to stay in this moment and just notice how you're feeling. This is just a short practice, but you can always rewatch the video. Um, we do ask that you don't take any screenshots of the Tao calligraphies videos on your own, just for spiritual courtesy, but you are welcome to watch any replays of any of our Love, Peace, Harmony meditation. 
that you can spend more time in the field where you have an opportunity to train your mind, your brain to stay in this present moment, even if it's for a few seconds. It's a few seconds more of love, peace, and harmony that you can bring into your being. And you can just slowly grow from there to maybe five seconds to a minute. And this also reminds us that at every moment, you can get back to love, peace, and harmony. It just takes a moment of attention, of redirect, redirecting your mind to focus on love, peace, and harmony. And in that moment, you will have a second of love, peace, and harmony, or maybe two, or maybe three. And every time you practice, when you go in and out of the uh, message or the present moment, when you're using your awareness, right, that we talked about last week, and you're noticing like, ah, I'm focusing on the past, or I'm feeling this emotion, or I'm worrying, ah, let me get back to the present moment. What it does is it trains your neural pathways, your brain to practice refocusing, practice um, redirecting your attention. So don't think negative of it. It's just part of your training period. And you can say, ah, Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Okay. So I don't want you to, again, we are moving away from any judgment. Um, like, oh, why can't I keep my attention? Or I can only do it this long. When you are where you are, that's wonderful. And we are going to move forward from that point. Okay. So you can come back to practice with this or any of the videos that we have. And continue to join us next week again for the next um, quality of well being that we discuss and continue to work on your wellness journey. So we hope that you'll join us here. If you need more support, please also contact any healthcare providers that you need um, because this is just uh, to complement any service we have no guarantees and we make no claims, but we just want to give our love, peace and harmony to you. And we have many other opportunities to practice with this love, peace and harmony field. My mother has her classes every Monday mornings, or well, three Mondays, the first three Mondays of the month. Um, and um, I have it usually every Tuesdays. And we do have a lot of videos that we've created on our YouTube channel, Love, uh, it's a Satori Family Wellness YouTube channel that we have many different types of meditations that we've done for the past several years that you can uh, watch and also receive the benefits, um, maybe catch up with some of the wellness and self-care things that we've done. And we do have our free wellness evenings on Thursdays, our introduction to the Tao calligraphy field. So it is similar to the Love, Peace, Harmony field, but it is the next level of Tao calligraphy power. So we welcome you to join us for that uh, session on Thursdays. And for our service journey, and we didn't really touch upon that today because this is self-care and service, but you can do your service by um, recommending this video to those that you feel could benefit or when you do your next practice um, to you know, dedicate to them. And we can do it right now. We can dedicate our practice today to all those who might need more wellness in their life, who may need more love, peace, and harmony, and just send them our love and light. Uh, but we definitely would love for you to invite others. And you can also donate to charitable works, uh, we support the Love, Peace, Harmony Foundation. They are the sponsors of this Love, Peace, Harmony Field facilitator program, as well as many other programs, such as like the water, um, you know, um, building water wells for people in Af Africa, um, as well as working with families and youth. They also have been helping our Maui um, community recover from the 
fires um, that we've had, you know, in the, uh, a while ago or um, recently. And so please, if you are moved to donate, we would love for that. And so again, just a reminder, I am so happy that we have all of you. Thank you, Gregory, uh, Ned, Mom. Thank um, you. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you for you. having me. Thank you, Gregory and Evelyn and Ria and Mercedes for joining. And remember, you know, taking this time for yourself is not selfish. Self-care is not selfish, but it helps us to increase the quality of our service. I, I, sorry, for I donated $100. I gave it to Diane. Two and a half weeks ago for, for Lahaina, Lahaina, for Lahaina. Oh, thank you so much for um, donating to our Lahaina in the Maui. No, no, don't, uh, don't mention it. Don't, don't mention it. It's my pleasure. Oh, how wonderful. And, you know, this is um, in, an inspiration for all of us to, you know, share what we can and donate. And everyone can do it in different ways. So some people can offer financially. Some people can go out and, you know, do like Red Cross, Cross services, many of the Maui community. And I found that many from around the world really was donating services. And we can serve here in these sessions as well, just by being here, um, dedicating and sending the love and light and singing love, peace and harmony, calling the other souls who need this um, can be also a wonderful service. So I thank you all of you for being here. Thank Have you. A wonderful rest of your day and your week. And I hope to see you next week. Aloha. Thank you. Mahalo. Bye. Mahalo. Mahalo. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Take care. Aloha, Evelyn. Thank you. Thank you for Bye -bye. joining. Bye-bye.